Can art heal social wounds? At the Haifa Museum, a massive new exhibition is looking to change the way we view Israeli and Palestinian art. Titled The Haifa Way, it marks the museum's 70th anniversary and includes the works of a whopping 128 artists. Thanks to a laid-back atmosphere and multicultural population, the city of Haifa is often seen as a beacon of coexistence. But this piece was shattered during last month's flare-up of violence between Arabs and Jews in Israel's mixed cities. Very depressing what happened here in May, when neighbors turned against it, uh, one another. And for me, it became this exhibition and the inclusiveness of this exhibition became even more crucial. Uh, to show that we have a shared space and we have a shared purpose. According to Kobe Ben Meir, for a long time Israeli museums did little to collect and showcase art by Arab Israelis or Palestinians, something he hopes to change. Seventy-eight-year-old Palestinian painter and sculptor Abed Abdi is one of the artists whose works are on display. A pioneer in the Israeli-Arab cultural scene, his painting, Refugees Waiting for Their Return, depicts him as a child standing alongside his family in 1948, the year the State of Israel was founded. In 1948, we fled for our lives via the port and became refugees. For nearly three years, my family and I lived in refugee camps, first in Lebanon and then in Damascus, Syria. We then returned via a process of family reunification. Abdi believes that putting artworks by Israelis and Palestinians on an equal footing is an important turning point. I think that this re-examination has the opportunity to influence and to encourage collaboration with Palestinian artists, who are an integral part of the Israeli landscape. Others pay tribute to Haifa's iconic landmarks, like this wall drawing created by Israel's Revital Lesik. My drawing is not about coexistence, actually. It's more about personal themes and feelings. But I do live in Haifa, so it's impossible to ignore that aspect. And I'm in touch with people who have different opinions. I think that's how things should be. Many of the artists in the exhibition depict pressing social issues. This painting here is by Gershom Knispel, it's from 1956, and it shows Arabs and Jewish people waiting in line for work at the city's unemployment bureau. The plight of the Arab worker is also a central theme for Sahir Miari, a self-described Palestinian artist. His mixed media installation focuses on the important role that Arab construction workers have played in building up the modern state of Israel. When I worked in construction, I saw that these people didn't have rights and also saw how they suffered and how hard the work was. Including our Palestinian artists in this exhibition testifies to their importance in Haifa and also to the uniqueness of this city, which is a mosaic of cultures. The Haifa Way exhibition will remain on display until January. From the northern port city of Haifa, Maya Margit reporting for the Media Line. News needs trained journalists. The Media Line, the first American nonprofit news agency covering the Middle East, has mentored scores of students from prestigious American universities around the globe. We are one of the best kept secrets. Universities are partners, students receive credit. In order to bring you trusted news, we need support for our future journalists. Please make your tax deductible gift today. Go to themedialine.org.